Hello treasures, Holly here, back with you today for day number two of the five days of Easter collaboration between Kara Brandon Creations and Dear Julie Julie. So our two pages today are these. Here's Julie's page with all these lovely vintage um, Eastery and rabbit illustrations. This pretty decorative strip, our lovely little eggs. We used um, larger versions of those last time. And this pretty decorative paper here with the little flowers on. And here is Kara's page for today with the um, gingham file folders with our little rabbits. We have um, tabs and Easter eggs. So these are the two pages that we're going to work with today to make our project. In addition, we're also going to have a junk mail envelope. And these two pages from Kara's uh, spring journal pages. Yeah, just about forgot what that one was called. Um, spring journal pages. I think actually it's spring journal pages, tags, pockets, and envelope kit. Quite a long name there, but it's in there in the Etsy shop. And while I'm mentioning that, um, don't forget, guys, that right now, up until I think tomorrow, the 31st of March, if you're watching this, you know, currently as it goes up, um, up until the 31st of March, the Easter kits, not only these kits that I'm using, but all of the Easter and coordinating and spring kits in both Kara's and Julie's shops are 50% off right now. And both ladies have some absolutely stunning digital kits in their shop. So do make sure to take advantage of that sale. I can tell you, I certainly did. Just don't tell the husband. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and I'll, of course, I'll have the links down below to their Etsy shops, as well as the link to all of the fantastic ladies, over 20 of us, who are taking part in the collaboration um, across YouTube, Instagram, and even Pinterest. So check out the links down below for some more fantastic inspiration. All right, let me put these aside. And what we're gonna do, I have already glued my junk envelope um, closed. I did a trial run on this and on the trial run, I cut off the, um, the flap and just put some paper inside to line it. Oh, actually, I'll just show you. Um, I cut the flap off and put some paper in here to line it. And I even went to, oh my goodness, the, um, the effort of measuring and, you know, figuring out the angles and everything to cut this back paper to fit that, you know, that cut out perfectly. And what I found now is that when I go to tuck my tag in, it gets it gets caught on this part. So I don't recommend doing it this way. Take the easy way, glue it shut, and then once we've got our decorative papers on, then we can cut it open. Learn from my mistakes, my trial and error. All right, so what I'm going to do, I absolutely love this paper from Kara's um, Spring Journal Pages kit, this, this floral, and I'm going to put this on the front of my envelope here. Now, what I'm going to have to do, first off, I'll measure my envelope to find out, you know, how much of this I need overall, and the same, I'm going to put this on the reverse side of it. So I need to measure my envelope and cut out 
my overall size pages for this. So I'll go and do that quickly and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so as you can see, I've cut out the two pieces for my envelope and I went ahead and cut out all the pieces from our two kit pages for today. Um, in addition to that, I've gone ahead and cut out two of the large envelopes um, and this comes from Julie's Easter Bright and Fun Ephemera and Pages digital kit which of course is also in um, Julie's Etsy shop and it's 50% off and link is down below but for now I'm going to put all of those aside and our next step now this is the part that I have to concentrate on and really think about because I need to make sure that I get my opening in the right place on here um, which you know sounds like it should be easy but I'm gonna either have to turn my paper this way which is gonna put the opening over on this side or I'm going to turn it this way which as you can see, um, I don't think that window is right in the middle. It could be, uh, but all the envelopes are going to be, you know, different sizes, maybe not different sizes, but the window can be in a different um, sort of orientation, higher up or lower down, um, further over to the right. So I'm not even going to bother to give you any measurements for that because they're all going to be different. So what I'm going to do now, I will measure how far over my window is and how far up and down it is. I'll, I'll go ahead and leave the camera on and I might either cut this out or speed it up. You're not going to have to sit here and suffer through watching me figure this out. all right so here is my dodgy measuring and marking but i measured it several times before i'm going to move on to this next step which is to cut my rectangle out Actually, I should put the the steel side there so I don't nick my ruler. So, how are we all doing? I'm a little bit sad about the weather because it has gotten cool and definitely overcast. I think it might rain about any time now. But, got a little spoiled last week. Wowee, only me. Huh. I was actually cutting that right between the the steel little band there and the plastic of the ruler. My days, I'm special. All right, 
keep our fingers crossed that this is going to line up properly. Just about. I mean, I've got a tiny little bit up here. Sorry about the glare, but yeah, there's a tiny bit there. But when it's, you know, that fractional, it's kind of difficult, isn't it? But uh, all I'll do is just um, ink that and it'll, it will be fine. It'll be fine. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to ink these up and I'll go ahead and ink around that as well. And actually, I'll go ahead and ink the edges so that if they are showing, you know, on the sides or whatever, it's not going to be too stand out. So I'll ink. Um, I'll go ahead also and ink all of these bits while I'm at it. And I'm going to sew around the edges. Um, and I'll come back to you. See you in a minute. All right, treasures. I am back with you after a second in your world. <laughs> um, I have gone ahead and inked around everything as well as sewing around everything. Um, now, those were the two tags from um, Julie's Bright and Fun, Ephemera and Pages, so forth and so on kit. And I went ahead and backed them and inked and sewed around those as well as um, doing the corners so those are practically done um these were the um, file folders from kara's kit originally or from kara's page for today and all i did was obviously i folded them in half and i inked and sewed around but I've also you'll notice cut the little tab off and I've used my um, punch my I think it was the one inch hole punch to cut my little divot out there and also you know what that lighting is a bit rubbish isn't it let me I'm sorry guys I'm trying so hard with this lighting is that better you can see a little better I suppose hope it's not too dark um, anyway I use the um, one inch circle punch make my little um, divot and put the cutout piece I just glued it to the back so that you know you're not just seeing white paper behind it so I've done that with all three of the file folders. So now instead of three file folders, we have three little pockets. So I'll put those aside for the moment. And I um, inked and sewed around all the, the pieces from Julie's page as well. Well, I didn't sew around the, um, the little these little pieces. I just inked those. All right, so next order of business is to stick our, um, stick our covers, if you will, on top of our envelope. So I will, um, do I want the glue stick? I'm not gonna use the glue stick because I'm not going to actually be sewing on the envelope. The sewing is just decorative on here. Now, if I'm going to sew paper to other paper, you know, um, then I'm happy to use the glue stick because the sewing also, um, you know, strengthens the bond. But since the sewing in this case is only decorative, I want to use, you know, what I know to be a stronger adhesive. Now, 
Now, um, what I did when I was sewing this, I did actually, amazingly enough, did think ahead because I'm going to cut the top of this off because if you remember, I told you that I um, glued the uh, the flap. Goodness gracious, guys! I need a I need a dictionary to give me some vocabulary here. <laughs> I um, losing all my words. Uh, yes, it's glued down. So as it is, uh, you know, we've just got four layers of paper and you know nothing to do with it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut off the very top of this just the you know smallest little tidbit and I was pretty impressed with myself because I did actually remember that I was going to cut part of that off and you know dropped my sewing down a bit so I didn't cut off my sewing all right so that looks like it should be plenty to cut off. And we just about got my sew in there. But we're good now. Ta-da! So now we have a ginormous pocket. But before I do the well this is the next step I want to put something back here and this is um, actually one of the file folders that was from a misprint page you can see and I, I mean actually this would work because the misprint part was missing off a bit of the tab I cut the tab off anyway didn't I but um, I'm going to put it in here to you know hide that that doesn't exactly go with our theme does it so i'm going to put this in but in order to show more of my little rabbits here i need to trim off <laughs> I think I'm happy with that. Press it down. Now that is clearly too big to go into my journal. And I actually have folded my pages. I've picked out um, the pages I wanted and I've got them all folded together now into my signatures now obviously they're not um, they're not sewn yet I've just got them folded and stuck together but obviously that's too big for my signatures and I'm sure most of you know where I'm going with this anyway I am going to fold this but I need to score it so that I can fold it. And this is not a cutter. Well, it used to be. It used to be a paper trimmer. But I put a um put a scoring blade in it. Sorry guys. I can't can't talk in do much of anything all at the same time. <laughs> now, you know what? Oh, I'm a goofus. I really shouldn't have scored it there. It needs to be further in. What a goofball. Just a tiny bit. Oh, well. Probably won't notice that missed score anyway. But yeah, I have such problems with scoring boards because I just can't seem to, I guess I can't see it well enough to be able to um, line it up and keep my scoring tool in the grooves. 
So this actually works really well for me, at least when I, you know, score in the right place. <laughs> I'm just going to take my bone folder and really crease that. And I've just thought, since I trimmed, since I trimmed that top off, I have cut off my my inking. I'll just put a bit back on there. I think this side's pretty much okay. But there we go. All right, and I'm just going to ink my fold here now. And it doesn't matter that this is not folded um, equally in half. I just, you know, obviously we don't <laughs> don't really want to fold on the window, do we? But it doesn't have to be equal on both sides. Let's stick that pin back in there before we have a problem. Okay clean up after myself a bit. Now, where did I put those? There they are. So, what we're going to do, let me find one of these signatures. Just pop a page out. Come out of there. Oh, and papers go flying. Try to hurry and then end up causing chaos and wasting time. All right, so what I want to happen here is not necessarily on this page, but the envelope is going to fold around a page. Okay, so like this. But I want something on these. Um, so I'm going to use our little pockets. Um, I really like those two facing one another. And then maybe, maybe that one about like that. So I'm not covering up my little bunnies, but yeah, I think, um, actually, no, this one's going to, I'm going to have to stagger them like that. So, and I want this one down here. So they're roughly even actually he can come up just a little bit and then they're sort of sort of have their eye line lined up don't we all right now i could just glue around three sides of these and have a tuck spot back here as well as the pocket but i think i'm just going to go ahead and glue them down flat but if you wanted to you could certainly just glue your three sides and have that extra tuck Whoop, come back here Um, maybe should have used a different color <laughs> instead of the pink gingham because that one just kind of blends right in, doesn't it? <laughs> I could have uh, possibly used the blue gingham in Kara's kit. But hey-ho. It's all just an experiment, isn't it? Just try it and see what works. 
My goodness, good thing nobody's going to be seeing the stitching on the back of this little pocket. It's terrible. I think maybe I need to look at the tension on my machine. Okay. I was going to overlap them a little bit, but I have. Now, if I put it, I do need to overlap them a little bit because if I put it too close to that fold, it's going to make it more difficult to actually fold and um, go around our page. See, so yeah, I'll overlap them just a wee bit. Now, I'm not going to put anything in these little pockets just yet. Um, not today. Is that? They're about even looking at one another, aren't they? I think that's about the right place. Um, as I was saying, I'm not going to worry about putting anything in these pockets today because um, in the days to come, we'll actually have some things that we can use to put into these pockets. So as far as this part goes, that's it, you know, for the day I'm done. Okay, but I still want something for each of these pockets. I think, let's audition this one. Because one will show through the, through our little pocket here, our little window even. I'm just obsessed with pockets now, aren't I? So we've got the little chick or we've got the butterfly. I think I do prefer the chick. I was thinking the um, the contrast of the blue and pink might look nice, but I think actually our little chick does look better in there. Okay, so I just want to put a little tab on the top of this. And I'm thinking, should I have put a little divot there? Hmm. Do I want a divot there? I don't know. Let's put a tab on top of there and then I'll decide. Maybe. Or I also have this, these gingham ribbons. Oh yeah, I think so, because I've got this blue that I can put with the blue one as well as the pink. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And instead of doing a um, the hole and eyelet and all of, all of that today, I think I'm just going to do, um, just stick it on the top. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Where's the end of that? Oh, and one of the ways that I like to store my long bits of ribbon and lace guys um, is like this. If it's not too terribly long, if they're really long, I'll loop them around a card and I've got um, a big basket full of, you know, cards of ribbon and lace. But if they're not too, too terribly long, you know, maybe a couple of meters or less, then... I'll put them on these hoops and uh, my husband printed this one but the original idea was to use the plastic inside of the um, the red line tape the double-sided sticky tape um, and my friend Kathleen 
shared that idea with me um, and so she she uses the plastic inside of that tape roll and then you know just hooks the ribbon or whatever onto onto it with a, a safety pin and then that way you can see easily what you have and what I do with them I have um, a coat rack on that goes on the back of my uh, studio door with gosh it's probably got about 10 um, hooks on it or yeah I guess they're hooks it's probably got about 10 hooks on it and I just um, hang them on those hooks so I could do it this way or I can do it this way I think I like it that way yeah so how do I want to attach it though I think just for quick and easy I'm just going to use my tiny attacher As much as I paid for this thing, I ought to use it more. <laughs> Those tiny staples are so blooming adorable though, aren't they? Oop. Tim Holtz is an absolute genius. Design genius and marketing genius. I don't know how much of the marketing and whatever is Ranger and how much is Tim Holtz, but, you know, both of them are definitely marketing. Oh, dear me. Definitely marketing geniuses, if nothing else. Because we've got to have it all, don't we? And I am very much guilty of wanting it all. A lot of things I'm okay. I, you know, I don't just have to have it. But with my distress oxides, I, I have to admit, I am guilty on that. I have... All of the Distress Oxides, except for, I've not gotten, what is it, Prize Ribbon, it's called, the, the new darker blue one. I think that's the only one of the Distress Oxides that I don't have at this point. I don't have the, um, the Distress Inks because in those I just buy the minis I don't use the distress inks as much as I use distress oxide so you know I only buy the minis in that and as far as I'm aware um, well there I know he does have like what is it kit number 16 out now with some of the new colors but um, a lot of them haven't come out in the the mini distress inks yet so I don't oh goodness that's horrid so I don't have those yet but like I said I don't use those as much as the distress oxides yeah oh, I'm happy with that now I might go at some point because I am I don't know I don't know what to call myself bit of a yeah she said <laughs> um a little bit of a perfectionist in some ways and I, I might come back and sew that on later and you know pull the staple out but for now for now i am happy with it lovely yeah 
I do like that. So, I've not used a whole great deal of the two pages for today, have I? And there's nothing here. So, what are you doing, Holly? <laughs> well, let me tell you. I'm actually going to make a hidden paper clip with this. And all I'm going to do is fold it roughly in thirds. Which way? Which one do I want to be showing? I think this side. So the side that I want to be showing needs to be the shorter side. Okay, so that it so that you can see back here. Okay. So it looks like that. Now, I am going to stop the video for a minute because I want to put a line of stitches here and here just so, you know, that it visually all goes together. So, I'll I'll sew this and then I'll come back to you. Okay. So, I've done my sewing. Uh, not very straight up here, but <laughs> hey-ho. Doesn't matter too much, does it? What's it? Yeah. I'm confusing myself here. Yeah, so that's how, how it's going to be. Now, what I do need to do is think about how I want this to go on the page and actually that's a very good point because actually I want this on this side see this is why I try to work it out before I start sticking things down so my paper clip is going to go there okay that will fold down and that will fold up except oh dear don't tear don't tear you do need to be careful about where you put it because what I'd done um, this bit was kind of tucked behind that paper and if I'd gone to pull it off without paying attention that would have just ripped so definitely pay better attention than I do sometimes please all right so that down that up okay da, 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 da. So before I stick that, I want to put a little ribbon on there, a little decoration for my paper clip. Um, I think I'll have a bit of this smaller gingham. I'm just going to simply tie it on here. Not going to do anything fancy. Gosh, <laughs> the way my fingers are working, I'll be lucky to tie a knot at all. <gasps> oh. 
I'll just cut that at an angle. And later I will come back on my ribbons and I'll either I'll either um you know burn them with a lighter to seal those ends or I might just stick a bit of clear glue on there to stop them from fraying. But at the moment I just want to get this done. All right, so to keep this paper clip secure, I am going to put some of this. I have, um, this is white duct tape. Ooh, you can use any sort of color duct tape or even like a strong packing tape. You just want some sort of strong tape that's going to hold that paper clip in place. There we go. Now you can see Tugging, I'm tugging on that, you know, pretty good, and that paper clip is not moving, so that's nice and secure. I'm just going to put this away for the moment. Now, this part, the fold down part, I'm just going to go ahead and stick straight down. Come on, glue. I need to re refill my bottle. Stick that right down and then my fold up bit I'm just going to glue each side. Just a thin line on each side of that. stick. I didn't expect that. So you could actually, you know, I'm using using it this way on a page. You could use use it up and down as well and just have a tuck spot right there, but because of, you know, the way that I want to put our envelope pockets on the page it's coming from the side now if I wanted this part to show here I would have needed to put my paper clip on this side so do think about you know where you how you want to place this because if I tried to put it on from here now well then you know, I could have a tuck up, but, you know, I don't really have my little pocket there like I want. So, let's put that on. And, you know, I could cover that up with, cover the, you know, paper clip up with something on this side, but I don't think it's, you know, in intrusive at all the way it is there so we've got that and then that's a little place to tuck our little pictures in I like these two I think I said when I um, did the kit reveal that they remind me of um, Laurie and Joe from Little Women 
and we can put, uh, tuck these guys back here too. All right, so there we are guys. We have our envelope pocket tuck with our paper clip pocket, hidden paper clip pocket holding our little picture ephemera. Take off our paper clip and that opens up to these little pockets and we'll have, um, you know, later in the week we'll have little bits to tuck into those. But, and then you can have, you know, under that you can have little uh, writing spaces or, you know, indeed whatever you want. So the only things, let me get that back on there. The only bits that we didn't use today are these little bits. And we can use those later on. All right. So there we are, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed today's project. Um, don't forget to go check out the other elves in their videos. There's over 20 of us and their links are all down below. And remember, take advantage of this 50% off sale so you can get your Easter and spring kits from Kara and Julie. And, of course, um, Kara Brandon Creations and Dear Julie Julie Etsy shops are linked down below so that you can go take advantage of that sale. I hope you've enjoyed today. I will see you back again on Friday, the 1st of April. No fooling for day number three of the Five Days of Easter collaboration. And remember, if you do any of these projects of your own using the collaboration kits, um, make sure to use that hashtag. It's hashtag 5 days Easter 2022. All right, guys, I hope you are all well and happy. I hope that you have found something to smile about today. Um, I know I certainly have. You guys make me smile. Oh, and before I go, I do have to say um, that my darling daughter, Abby, so sweetly bought me a light, a ring lighting kit that also holds, it'll hold my phone and tablet and all sorts um, to help me film. She got it for me for Mother's Day, so I said that I would give her a shout out because she is such a sweet sweet well she's a woman now oh it's not a child anymore i don't know how i've got a woman for a daughter i'm clearly not old enough for that but anyway she is a very thoughtful young woman so love you abby i hope you're all well and i hope you all have a fabulous fabulous day and i'll see you back here on friday for day number three Bye! Surprise! I'm back! <laughs> Actually, these little bits are... Oh, goodness, get hold of them. These are not the only little bits I had left over. I missed some bits. I have these little tabs. And I had our little Easter eggs. But I remembered... I wanted to use our Easter eggs just to decorate around the pockets here. So, yeah, the eggs are decorating the pockets. And our little tabs will go with our other leftover bits to use later on. So, there we are. Now, I'm finished. But make sure that you do like the video give me a comment hopefully a nice one and subscribe and do the same for the other ladies down below i'm really gone now bye guys i'll see you next time